All right, guys, welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy IV Zero Gears Misadventures. So last time, uh, Sid help, helped us uh, fix up the Falcon. Now she can fly over magma. And uh, I screwed with my camera for like the last 30 seconds. Yeah, I love this camera. Very basic camcorder, but it does its job. And I can't ask any more than that. What I can ask for, however, is a better TV. Because even though this is a plasma screen, which I chose this uh, TV personally for my LPs because it doesn't, you don't get that electrified, you know, focusing line like you do with a tube TV. But it's still really grainy. I mean, not when you're watching the TV screen, but when I'm looking at it through the camera, it's still really grainy. Now that I can do that, and I have access, I want to go here. B- I can't come here yet. Darn it. Darn it! I have to- oh, stupid, stupid, duh. There's a side quest I had to do above ground before I came in here. That's okay, I can do it later. Um, this is the sealed cave. But before I go there, I want to go here. Come on. There you are. And this is Tomra. Come on, you can stop going in a straight line. Um, I don't want to go there, I want to go here. Is there a door here? Yes, there is. Secret storage house. Q2, 470 gold. Get out of there. 490 gold. Um, another Q2. Cabin. 480 and nothing. I mean it's not a lot but it's it's better than I knew I'd run out of things to compare to eventually it's better than which one haven't I used yet um better than a sharp stick in the eye nah I don't like that I probably won't say it too often Hmm. Whatever. Um, never buy the Ogre Axe. It's pointless. Um, I'm going to be getting better stuff for Cecil and Kane without buying it anyway. I'm not going to tell you what it is. But I will be getting better stuff. However, I do need a Middle Sword for Edge. Um, two Archer Bows for my girls here. And that should be it. In the weapons department, at least. No, not you. Um, I was, I, this game just reminded me all of a sudden, I was playing uh, Final Fantasy IV The After Years the other day, and um, I got the, uh, which is it, was she already using an archer bow? Nope, great bow too. Alright, um, so anyway, I was playing The After Years, uh, the Lunarian quest. I did not know, or if that was even their idea, to make Golbez is to make Golbez left-handed. Now I have to check out the defense st shop, um, but instead of just walking out the door and over a couple feet, ta-da! Secret passage. Gotta love them. Uh, check this stuff out. Diamond stuff. This stuff is amazing, but it's also expensive. I mean, look at that armor. That's... Can I afford that? Uh, four zeros, one, two, three, four, and then I can afford that. I can afford two of those. Strange, because I need two of those. And now I'm broke. Dead broke. Headgear for my girls. Uh, sure. And now I can't do it anymore. Sorry, guys. You got the armor. That gives you the most defense, so no whining. Now, even though it takes away your magic defense, um, I don't care. It provides great defense. All this stuff does. Um, did I buy helmets? I did, and that was the last thing I tried to buy. Um, can't get any shields. Okay. Hold on. Uh, tiara for you. 
and the diamond ring for you. Um, word of advice, if you like the strength ring, um, like if you wanted to give it to Edge, now's the best time to do it. Just forewarning you. Oh, one more. Back to here, and then one more thing for Edge, right down here. I should have done all that off screen. Ah, I still have plenty of time. Who knows? It, ha it might help me cliffhang you guys. <laughs> Which I know you can't stand. So now I sell the access stuff that I don't need. Um, short sword, I'll probably group those together. These great bows can go. Ice armor, gone. Set, gone. Wizard stuff, gone. Officially. I, I, well, at least effectively, everything can go. All of your stuff gone. Oh wow, less than I thought. Now I want to check something. Uh, okay, which is strange because and later in the game there are gauntlets that Edge can use, but right now he can only use rings. Strange. Whatever. Um, hold on. I have money officially. I can buy stuff. Oh, just barely! At least you guys can hear me complain. Keep you somewhat laughing. I like to have a happy audience. And hopefully I can solve this stuff for just enough if not, I may have to sell my short swords. But I won't have to! Yay! Good, because I really didn't want to. Ding! And now I still have some spare cash. Always good to have spare cash. Ah, diamond stuff. This stuff's great. It lasts you quite a while, actually. Sort really quick. And now we're off! Well, that was annoying. Took up most of my episode. But that's very important, and you guys needed to see it. Hmm. Strange. Keep that in mind. Yeah. I see. I have eyes. Silk Cave. Hmm. Sounds like a side quest to me. Oh, hey, naming way. Had I not been making an LP of this game, I'd probably be naming my characters. Yeah, I'm not going to waste my money. I'm actually going to use a tent, right? Nope. Down one. Thank you. I'm going to use a tent right here because this place is brutal with monsters. It's annoying. So bad. Well, I didn't notice up until now that stupid camera's cutting off some of my screen. Wish I'd have noticed that earlier. That's why I... Stupid. Zero Gear Plus. Oh, that's like near perfect. Oh, that's great. That's funny. Yeah, it's just cutting off a little bit of the bottom, but that's not in any way useful. Um... And we're off. Sealed cave. Yeah, I love how, um, speaking about the self's cave, um, I love how they give you side quests. I love 
how they give you like 70 side quests to do, right when you have access to, you know, defeating the bad guy of the game, well, not really, but like, you know, very important plot stuff, it's like the best time to go out doing side quests. But, um, I'm sorry, but, uh, I want to make as most, as much, um, episode time as I can, so I'm gonna cut you guys off here, and I will continue next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy IV Zero Gears Misadventures. I'm signing off. Have a good day.